Welcome to the Keweenaw Peninsula, also known as the Copper Country. A place where the vast wilderness meets a rich geological history. Nestled in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, the Keweenaw is known for its unique rock formations, stunning landscapes, and a legacy steeped in copper mining. The Keweenaw is one of the most geologically fascinating regions in North America. Formed over a billion years ago, its volcanic and sedimentary rocks tell a story of ancient eruptions and geological movements. First up, before we show you how we create art from the earth, let us give you a quick backstory about the Keweenaw Peninsula. The story begins in 1843, when prospectors discovered copper here in the Keweenaw. This wasn't just any copper, it was pure native copper, a rarity that sparked excitement among the miners and entrepreneurs. Companies like the Quincy Mining Company were established. These companies employed thousands of miners. Two most important structures at the Quincy Mine site today are the number two hoist house, or the big oyster engine still left in it, and the number two shaft rock house, which we're in right now, which was erected in 1908. Take it underground, the men would uh, get on the man car and would ride to the surface of the mine. However, by the 1960s, most of the mines closed, but the legacy of copper mining remains deeply ingrained in the culture and history here in the Keweenaw, and for many of us, it's also a way of life. You collected a lot of rocks. A few pickup loads and a few sites of friends that owned property on a, that had tailing piles were able to dig in. We're Pretty fortunate cool. to dig in, I should say. That's it's all copper, all yeah. that patina, all green the, patina. Yeah. It's all copper right there in that whole end of the rock. It's way back. Because uh, a lot of these sites are closed up and you can't even get to them and they crush a lot of this. They make road gravel out of it now. That's all beach stone down there. And this is all copper on this end. the size of that rock. Rocks are just rocks until we do something with them. This is where Randy makes the magic happen. This is stuff I gotta get grinding the faces smooth and polishing the little spots of copper like this. Like here I'll polish this whole area through here and then like if you're like this I just fine 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 grit wet sand them to a really nice finish and then we coat them. Ooh, that's so pretty. Yeah, it's I coat the whole thing with a clear coat, and you can see the copper. I was also working on this one a bit already. I love pretty. To do it. That's a real pretty rock. It would be even prettier when it's finished. This one's got little silver specks That's in it. That's pretty. It's got all this red rock in it. That looks like the one my dad made the pendant from. He did. He made pendants out of there. It's got that little speck yeah, of silver. Yep. Yeah, yeah. My dad was a master at turning these rough materials into stunning copper and gemstone pendants. He had a good eye for design. I wanted to talk more about this, but that will have to wait for another video. I like this, how the copper spiders off through the it's really pretty. calcite and the quartz. 
Here we go. Let's clean this one up. We've got a little bit of fine lines in it that I want to clean up before I polish it. This is a beautiful piece. See all the copper beans through it over here? Really love that. That really is. That really is pretty stuff there. This looks really nice though. It's not even polished yet and you can see yourself in it. Wait till I get polish on it and a finer sand yet. Look at them beautiful veins. This is one beautiful piece of copper. Not the lightest either, it's pretty solid. Here we are getting ready to polish some bookends and copper. Gotta have a good mask. I use the narrow one so I can go up these nice little veins. Each slab reveals its unique patterns and colors. Perfect for anyone looking to create something special, whether it's for pendants, earrings, or other crafts. They also make perfect display specimens, gifts, or souvenirs from the Kiwana. Randy is a master at finding these earth treasures and bringing new life into them. Here he is cleaning copper and there is multiple steps when processing the stones and copper. It takes a lot of time and work to get the copper ready for sale. Each piece tells a story and connects us to the ancient land of the Kiwana. Separating some stuff here. Here's some bigger wow. pieces. This one here is 25 pounds itself. Look at the little finger of the shine. Or it's not your too big to be in here. Beauty. Beautiful. See that epidote rock and stuff? It's just gorgeous. sorts of pieces. Here we look. Shiny copper pieces. This one's got cast where there was calcite. Oh, that's cool. Look at the nice. Beautiful. ready to display for you. I like these ones with the epidote. The green and that copper just it's just so pretty the way it offsets that each other. Pretty. I really that's one of my favorite. And there's usually you once in a while you find silver around the epidote also which is a bonus. Look how sunburn you got today. Yeah I did. <laughs> and yesterday. A lot of this we make for different jewelry pieces. Cool looking. We always look for the cool patterns. Those, those look pretty. Oh, look at nice house. Yeah, there's some buttes in here too. Oh. Keywinner point agates. 
This is off the key of the point. Of course, you gotta have a nice clear pattern with the white. You get a neat like Ooh, that's that. pretty. It's a good solid Those one. Those are too. my favorite kinds. Good solid one. Look at the layers, the way it's layered, so beautiful. The really nice copper pieces. These are white lightning copper from the white pine mine. This is ready to go for a couple of stars. I was getting it ready. Gotta look at the pretty shiny on it. Like it? Beautiful. Yeah. We got some slabs of it even. The copper pieces, smelter block. This That's is a, a beautiful piece. piece. It's got the lines that are filled in with copper that are infused. Those in white slabs. rock and black rock. Oh, that's so pretty. And you, you, this one's got the line also yeah, going across the middle. And here's one that's just beautiful looking. It looks like an ocean of copper. That's beautiful. Looks like a w ocean, but this is a piece of a smelter block and it just infused different. It must have been in a hotter area. Because otherwise it would look more like that. Yep, a lot of them with the lines going through. That's really pretty. Nice. Oh. The AKA Isle Royal Greenstone. Ooh. Just starting to show pattern on a bunch of them. Yeah, hold still. Oh yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, that's gonna be a really good one. This is pretty. It's got a nice pattern going and stuff. Keep my clothes half clean. <laughs> got the old 42 pound tumbler going. We got two drums. One large one, small, with greenstone in them. One with Apache tears, and one with Lake Superior agate. Ready for it? Yep. There they are. Michigan AK. Oh, greenstone. look at how pretty this is. Oh, there you go. Isle Royal. Yeah, they were Isle Royal. That's an oil. Use that lighter green like mm -hmm. that is a sign of an oil royal stone. Almost looks like a heart shape. Yeah, that is almost a heart one. A lot of these got the deeper pattern. When I did these, I so when you move them, you'll see the pattern change. See the pattern mm -hmm. change? Yep. They're the deep, deep it's stone. Beautiful. During the summer months, there are a number of rock shows and educational events to celebrate our geological treasures here in the Keweenaw. This is a show that Randy and I have been a part of for the past 18 years. The Keweenaw is a geologist and rock hound candy store, so our little business thrives on sharing the beauty of the Keweenaw's geology and providing unique pieces that reflect the area's rich mining heritage. Whether you're a geologist, a rock enthusiast, or simply someone who appreciates the beauty of nature, the Keweenaw Peninsula invites you to discover its geological wonders. Today, the remnants of this rich history can be seen in the preserved mines, historical sites, and museums. Visitors can explore the past and learn about the impact of copper mining on the local community and economy. We hope you enjoyed our video and we hoped you learned a little bit about the Keweenaw and its rich geological heritage. We really appreciate that you take time from your day to watch our videos. It means so very much to us. Until next time, friends, stay safe and keep exploring.